This show is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. You are your greatest asset. It's time you started investing in that. Visit BetterHelp.com forward slash double toasted and take care of you. What's happening, brother? Get down. Get down. But he ain't helping. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Hey, yeah. I shot his ass, too. <laughs> yeah. <it's> like, <laughs> <laughs> my father would have shot him. My dad would have yeah. been like, bam. <laughs> <laughs> Just got back from Chicago, but we got more shows coming up. So you can catch us in Miami. And then the next day in Orlando, that's going to be January 20th and January 21st. And then you can see us in Dallas, Texas, February 18th. Go to x1entertainment.com to get your tickets. But if you go below, you can get tickets for these remaining shows over here. Oh, folks, the 80s. Well, that was a different time. It certainly was. Cocaine, Reaganomics. <laughs> blackface it was just in that order in, in that order in that order white lines blackface <laughs> <laughs> and white taxes and wh- <laughs> it was uh it was a time when all that stuff was a little bit easier to do yep <laughs> <laughs> well it was yeah. more open about it all. it was yeah. more open back in that time you could it was easy to do cocaine it was easy to do blackface right <laughs> In fact, I should do a documentary about the 80s called White Lines, Black Faces. Sometimes at the same time. And sometimes <laughs> at the same time, people. And to prove to you how easy this was, you had to be on cocaine mm. to make a movie like we're about to talk about right now. Jesus. This movie was an early entry on that list of shit you can't do today. <laughs> 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 you, you sure as hell can't do that. <laughs> People. In the early entry. In the early, early entry. I think that's like, when that list was made, it was like number three or four. Like, shit you can't, shit you cannot do today. Law school. Yeah! Nine dollars. Don't you think you're overreacting? No. Congratulations, Mr. Watson. Oh! oh! This man jumped from hanging out with an alien to being him to being a fake Negro. What the hell? <laughs> See Thomas Howe in Soul Man. Oh, what a noose! That, that, a, that, that imagery right before he did that was awful. We went from a noose to a, a fake black man. And happy to be there too. And, and happy, that. happy, y'all people. This is Soul Man, and this is a movie. Again, I forget, when did this come out, y'all? 1986. I thought it was 85. It's 86. No, maybe 86. Yes, 19, 1986. And people, it is just what it looks like. Mark, I think Mark Winston, ever, I don't know the last name. But anyway, Mark. Mark is from a very wealthy family. But mm. dad decided that Mark had a little bit too easy. <laughs> he said, you know, and plus my, my psychiatrist said, I need, I, don't, I need to stop with you. You know, I need to take care of myself. So, and he makes a point. You know, I made my way in the world on my own. And it's about time that you do too, son. Maybe Dad should have gave him some advice before he went this right. far because <laughs> oh shit fifty thousand dollars in tuition to go to Harvard it ain't hey that ain't cheap at all at all so what do you do well after all options are exhausted the only thing that's left is that grant that you saw that's hey, giving you a free ride over to Harvard the only catch it God damn it when you the blacks are taking everything everything over oh but it's only for black students out there. That one grant, by the that way. One, that one grant. And, it, oh, my God, wouldn't you know that the one person who was going to get it, he decided to go to Stanford. Oh, boy. Oh, lucky day. Oh, lucky day. So, oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. <laughs> so, hey, give me some of that brown powder. Give me some of that fudge. Over there. <laughs> give me that wig. I think I can do this. No one has to know if I disguise myself as a Negro. And that's what he does. Everything's going fine. Only two things. That are really just ruining everything. Damn, one finds a nice ass, fine ass black chick. Mm-hmm. Ray Dong Chong. Ray, Ray Dong Chong. Yeah, he wants to give him his, he wants to give her his Ray Dong Chong. Yeah, no, he just showed us his Ray Dong. His Ray Dong. <laughs> up in her, the Chong. Her name is Ray Don Chong. <laughs> yeah, okay, we I'm sorry. Well, now it's going to be Ray Dong, Sean. <laughs> he wants to give her the Ray Dong. And he says, wow, you know, I'm falling for this black woman over here. God, I'm getting feelings. And the other, the other thing is, you know, everything would be cool if it weren't for that pesky racism 
that keeps getting away. Wow, nobody right. told me that if I became black, I got to deal with the police and right. black jokes all day long and discrimination <laughs> and all that. Wow, you, man, you black people really, how you do this? <laughs> Is there, is there a manual with this? I don't know. I mean, it's so tough. It is so rough and tough. How do you guys do this? But unfortunately, I can't take this shit off, and I'm too deep enough. <laughs> and green means more than brown to me. So sure does. Green trumps everything. So yeah, people also has stars in here, such as some faces you'll notice. James L. Jones being what? What the hell is what your f- black man? ass doing in here? What are you doing? <laughs> you don't need this. You not need to do this movie, man. Maybe he's the only one that actually thought that C. Thomas Howell was an actual black dude. Right. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't see E. T. Maybe he thought that. The, <laughs> well, I like working with fine young black talent. <laughs> what do you mean E. T.? He wasn't E. T. C. Thomas Howell? No, it's Henry. Uh, it's Henry Thomas, but he played the Big Brother. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, it wasn't E. T. Yeah. My bad. Yeah, my no, bad. You weren't hanging out with E. T. No, I was gonna say wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, but, look alike. I'm about to say mother looks like E. T. Right here. <laughs> e. T. With a perm. <laughs> big brother, oh, people! Yeah, this is this is crazy. He look like an alien, right? Damn right. <laughs> yeah, look, don't, don't look human. Don't especially don't look black. If he walked in, it's like, yeah, I'm black. You'd be like, all right, stop bullshit. Yeah, I, exactly. Take that shit off. Yeah, come here, come here. What the right. Fuck is this? Any white person would say that too. Oh, what? No, 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 you're not. not Just gonna... stop. <laughs> yeah, Mark, I... is that you? <laughs> Et the extra transracial. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Before we get into the review, though, I got to let you know that the review and this portion of the show is brought to you by Credit Karma. Hey, look, let me tell y'all something. If C. Thomas Howe is sinking <laughs> so low as to do blackface for school tuition, his credit must be terrible. <laughs> it's about to get worse. Yes, <laughs> he looked like he had black credit in the first yeah, place. Look, that may as well go all the way. About to get, about to get worse, y'all. But, hey, you don't look, y'all. You don't have to be a C. Thomas Howe in blackface. Don't you do that. Don't be that. If you're going through financial stress, you're having a hard time, you're not alone. That's where Credit Karma can come in and help you out. You know, Credit Karma is here to make you make those big calls with more confidence. Whether you're refinancing credit card debt or paying for an upcoming expense, like a car or something. Credit car, uh, Credit Karma uses your credit data to show your fresh personal loan offers that are personalized to you. It's free and easy to sign up for Credit Karma with no effect on you. Because I know what you're worried about. Like, man, they're going to check my car and I'm already doing bad. I can't, I can't see no more <laughs> lower, man. It has no effect on your credit score for you to do that. So go. It's not like sign up for a card or anything. Don't be afraid. Go ahead. Go in there. Let them do that. Let them help you out. Credit Karma will even show you your approval odds in case you're sitting up there sweating, wondering if you're going to get the loan or not. You can go in and see your approval odds and choose offers that are more likely to get approved for and apply with more confidence. Credit Karma can help you track your progress, too, so that you can pay off your debt. And they even let you know if you can refinance and save even more. Go over to creditkarma.com forward slash Loan offers to see personalized offers with your approved odds right now. Once again, I want to thank Credit Karma for sponsoring this part of the show, and I always want to thank you for your support. Appreciate you. I, I don't. I, I don't have to tell you this. Needless to say, this uh, movie caught a lot of aggression, man, from people <laughs> like no shit, sure, <laughs> and got more aggression as time went along. This thing was misguided from the first God pitch. Damn. Before they put a single letter to the page, <laughs> this thing was, this never should have happened. We should have aborted this mission from the beginning. For real. I got this idea. Stop. Stop. Yeah, stop it. You see, there's this black guy. He goes in black for you. Yeah, it's hi, hi, hi. No, man. No, I, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear anymore. Get but, out. But you don't understand. He has to get in the heart. Stop. Not, stop. I told you. Security. <laughs> bitch, I'm off. But, you know, with this movie catching as much flack and aggression as in and, and hate, and deservedly so, I'm not defending this, y'all. Don't think I'm doing that, you know. I, but I get that when they made this movie, everybody behind it, especially the writers and, and, and director, they were just trying to help. The heart was in the right place, but your brain was in your ass for this one. <laughs> so instead of being mad about this movie, and believe me, I'm not happy at all. It, t- it took me a lot to kind of be mature about this because I'm not happy one bit. But instead of being mad because nothing gets 
Nothing gets solved by being aggressive and angry. I'm going to put that to the side. And let me try to explain to you or anybody else who enjoys this movie and doesn't understand what is going on with people when they say they don't like this. Let us try to break it down to you and explain why we are disappointed. And we'll go through this. And I, I, I didn't even know how to approach this, man, uh, today. Because this is going to be a different bad movie roast. You know, this is going to be more of, I don't know, an essay. We're going to analyze this movie. A dissertation, if you will. If you will. <laughs> if you will. <laughs> well, I won't, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, first, first, the first problem that we have here is that okay so this is the complete black experience brought to you by white people and nothing but and nothing but nothing but 100% white people <laughs> check this All right? out yeah. be, this be, is your life this is written and directed by white people yeah first, really. first of all this is directed by Steve Miner right here who's known mostly for his horror movies. And I got I give it to the man. He's, <laughs> he's he, a horror movie. Uh, right? he's one of his, this is his best one. The man has worked with the greats. He's worked with he's worked with Michael. He's worked with Jason over here. He did Halloween H2O. H2O. He did Friday the 13th, 2 and 3. And then he did some other movies. He did a Dawn, uh, uh, Day of the Dead movie with, I think, Vien Rames in it. Oh, yeah, in yeah. yeah he, Dawn of the Dead one, <clears throat> yeah. That one was uh, actually decent. Yeah, no, it was Day of the Dead. Uh, Day of the, whatever it was Because Dawn of the Dead was the... Zach uh, Snyder one. Oh. Uh, but, yeah, man. But this right here, Soul Man is his most horrible creation <laughs> right now. I'm sorry. That's just the way I feel. I know oh, it's in the bed. Yeah, people. You know, that's when he decided. He, with, with this, he says, you know, I've I've had enough of hacking and, and slicing up people, man, with all these 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 murderers, man. I, I've destroyed so many people in Ruin so many lives in these movies. The next film, I want to be positive. I want, I want this to be. I want this movie to actually say something and mean something and make a change. Yeah, it said something all right. Yeah, yeah. Unless you can change this shit and go back in time and get rid of it, I don't think that's gonna happen, man. We change it. We oh, change the draws. Oh, it changed some things all right. <laughs> Made a lot of motherfuckers mad out sure there. Sure did. Yeah, man. He wanted to make something. He wanted to make something of substance. Something with meaning. So what he said was, you know what? I was influenced by... This is one of my biggest influences. I love this movie. And this movie kind of made an impact. I can do the same thing with oh. my own spin on it. He, no one knows his new identity. Not even the girl he's madly in love with. Of course, that's Tootsie with Tootsie. Dustin Hoffman, man. This was Sidney uh, Pollack was doing the uh, voice over there. Exactly. But he directed it, too. Yeah. yeah. No, he wanted to do his own version of Tootsie with... Uh, with the black person, though. This is the one where Dustin Hoffman dresses up as a woman because he can't get, he's an actor who can't find roles. Right. So when there's a one role out there for this female in a soap opera, he said, well, the hell with it. I'm going to try out for it. And he did it. Got mm -hmm. it. And became one of the biggest and, and, and most popular actresses mm -hmm. in the world doing that soap opera. So he said, you know, why can't I, if they can do it with a woman, how come I can't put a dude in blackface and, do my own thing right there. See if you know the difference, if you can think of the difference there. He's like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm yeah, getting yeah, darker as I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Sun is setting on me right now. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's also written by, uh, not shit you know, it's written by a screenwriter named Carol L. Black. So I guess she thought, well, shit, hey, I'm black, you're black. Well, right. I'm an authority here. Right. Why not? They might they might, might, might fool them a little bit. <laughs> so this was, what this was, this was typical Hollywood white savior syndrome all around. You know, this is this is white people in front of the camera and behind the camera. And we're not trying to make anybody feel bad. I'm just telling you, Hollywood has this thing with white savior syndrome, man, where they say, you know what? Uh, we want to help you blacks. But, but, you know, no, we want to help you, but just stand back and let us, white people do the talking because it makes more money that way yeah but when you say it nobody buys tickets <laughs> right, yeah, when yeah. we say it we put a nice handsome face on there beautiful blonde woman on there when she talks about the plight of the black man <laughs> of the black woman sure. the black people oh now people pay money for that well you know my mother always said give them a victim they care about 
Yes, that's the wow. That's a great saying <laughs> right there. And I tell you, boys, it's easy to hate this movie early on before any <laughs> before it, before any smudge of blackness is put on C. Thomas Howell's face. It is, it is smudge. It's, it is it before any spot of blackness is anywhere near C. Thomas Howell's face. It's easy to hate this movie, man. It's easy to hate him. Why is that? Because him and his friend uh, 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 Gordo. Oh God! I remember him getting they, on my nerves. Yeah, and uh, what is what's that guy's name? I can't remember his name. I forget oh, what just it was. had it. Wasn't he? But that these two right here, these are just two douchebags, two douchebags on their way to leave their entitled shitty ass mark on the world. So the way I figure it, I, I kind of wanted to run for senate. Oh, don't worry, you did. Sure. You you and a lot of people like sure, you did. Yep. Trust me. Y'all up in there. <laughs> Laying up under a table, smoking weed at a party, Smoke, talking all this shit. Smoking weed, talking about how easy it's going to be to get that million dollars and just... <laughs> that first ooh, million. That first, that first million and just roll right into politics, man. <laughs> Two something. If they don't retire to the islands. It's exactly, yeah. And retire at 35. Right. You bitches. Yeah, yeah. I, that's why I kind of I kind of liked, emphasis on liked, I liked Mark's dad. Because Mark, <laughs> Mark's dad, you know, it was it, it, it was cool seeing a responsible parent. Yeah, sure. You know, it was nice seeing somebody kind of knock the, the 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 smugness out of out of out of Mark because Mark just thinking he just gonna coast. Sure. Oh, Daddy gonna pay for this. Don't worry. All I had to do was get in. That's it. And if I fuck up, Daddy's there to take care of that too. And Daddy said, No, Daddy well, can't do that. Not. No, Daddy looking after Daddy. You got to get your own son. I also want you to feel good about yourself. That's why I've decided to let you pay your own way. What? Boy, the, sh the other shoe <laughs> yeah, literally yeah, dropped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought that that was kind of a clever joke. I'm yeah, not, cause that's, I'll that's that. subtle. I'm like, all right. I'll give him that. It's a shitty movie right Yeah, here. I know, right? Because yeah, that's, that's the worst thing. You see movies like this that kind of offend you, and it's like, oh, that was kind of clever. There's, there's some other stuff you'll talk about later. Yeah. It is clever. Yeah. That, with the with the girl stuff, whatever, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Which is kind of clever, but it's it's... Baked into this terrible. Yeah, but go ahead. But that's you know that's why you know I, that's why I say, I you know I I I liked Mark's dad because when he did that I like oh cool, until I found out uh -oh. that this but it turned even I think I couldn't even like his parents it turned real quick, it was uh because it got to a point where I said I think this man might be abusing his wife. Your father's therapist says he needs to learn to express the child in him. Oh shut up Dorothy. Shut oh, up. God bitch. damn. Like, and she's like. Yeah, and she gonna shut up too. Oh yeah, yeah. Like if she was just a few feet closer than he, he would have gave her the back of the hand. Bitch, shut up. <laughs> she looked at him like, oh, well, was it? That's right. I'm not supposed to be speaking right now. Yeah, so, sorry, honey. I can't. Play it's for a, that the, the man are talking. Right. She's talking to herself. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't trust no man who has statues of little boys peeing. Oh, in, the in pool. his pool. Like, look. Oh, you see this in the back? Yeah, right I see here? it. Like what the. F is that <laughs> like who, <laughs> what 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 grown ass man wants statues of little boys pissing into his pool, <laughs> his pool. yeah that's... so out of all the out of all the fountains that you could have bought with all your money that one yeah, that's the one that spoke peeing. to you the kid pissing yeah that's the one that said take me home right there right. that's it <laughs> that's it all right that's just creepy man now Going by the story, which y'all know, after exhausting all of his other options, uh, the world has let the, and it's not his fault. It's the world. The world has left Mark no other choice oh, than to go into blackface for that scholarship. He tried. He tried. He went out there and hit the ground, just looking for loans and everything, and nothing could happen. And at this point, this this is right before it happens. Even the even the movie knows this is fucked up. The movie's trying to tell us, like, you know what? Maybe y'all need to leave. Now where the hell are you gonna get fifty three thousand dollars? Even C. Thomas Howell is like, forgive me for what I'm about to do. <laughs> you I, know what? He, he says, I, I look, y'all. I'm that ET money is gone. I need this check. <laughs> He's like, fuck, forgive me, y'all. He's looking at the do it. But you know what, though? In real life, it's like, where are you going to get $53,000? I'm going to kill my motherfucking parents. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that's what we're right, which right boy like, would do. Y'all better hope I put this blackface on because I'm about to go over there and murder the fuck out of my dad. Y'all better let me do this shit. Slice it and dice I'll it. I'll set that goddamn house on fire. <laughs> 
Y'all better, y'all, y'all better hope I choose blackface. <laughs> He's like, well, I gotta go and act like a black guy, or I can kill my dad. Won't give me his money. Blackface or death. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Watson, and good luck at Harvard. Thank you, sir. Oh hell no, oh, Donald Mike. Now, <laughs> you know what? Look, I tell you what. I tell you what pisses me off with this man. When he was exploring his options, and believe me, he went out there and explored a lot of them. You know, he, he, he even tried to go get a loan with his sorry ass. 16 bounce checks from this bank. Oh, but you see, that shouldn't affect my credit rating because those were just bookkeeping slip-ups. What a relief. You know, no wonder his dad got rid of his sorry ass. He bounced a check and his dad is rich. How you gonna bounce checks and your daddy got all the money in the world? You never went to ask your dad, cover this for me. <laughs> you still, but this is what gets me. Like, out of all those options that he say he went through, not one of those included, I don't know, getting a f- job. Nope. He just skipped that box and went straight to blackface. Right, right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Work? Right. Are you? Piss posh. <laughs> hey, you better kiss my black ass. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you better eat a black dick right now. <laughs> you better kiss... My black ass, I ain't going to work. My black hog yeah. ass. <laughs> he didn't even do it to himself. And somebody said work, and he got up and he was already the shoes on. Oh, you better kiss my black ass. That don't buy it. A dance like rerun. Baby, <laughs> sit right on. Right on. Sit what it is. Give some on the black ass side. <laughs> what? Shit, you know. But you know what? But I get it. I get it. The movie is it's making fun of white people, is what it's doing. It's making it's fun of trying it, to make it's, fun it's of trying. People. It's making fun of clueless white people. Especially in, Mark. In the most toothless way, by the way. Exactly. He, you know, they're making fun of these people and making them making all the white people clueless so that when Mark has to experience actual racism, it makes more of an impact. On, mm. on him and the audience there. Yeah, pebble in the water. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bloop. But when you see Thomas Howe in that blackface, it's like, nah, f*** your good intentions, man. Real, this is man, wrong. Yeah. This is wrong. <laughs> you're going to go crazy. You're going to go stupid. Then don't do nothing half ass. I mean, if we going this far, <laughs> sure. then go all the way. Don't, don't just do blackface. Do black body. <laughs> You know, exactly. I felt exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Mark. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> shit. Bam. <laughs> yeah. What you got on you? Uh, that man got a full black body spray tan on him right and, now. And cheese like a. Yeah. Too. Now that Mark is black, did you notice the mu- the music got a little funky? Yeah. It's a- Oh, little fun. Yeah, they, 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 hit, they hit the little bass guitar in there, too. <laughs> that music got funky. Mark is Black Mark in town. <laughs> <laughs> There's a new Negro in town. <laughs> His name is Mark. His name is Mark. Get the f*** out the way. Yeah, White right. people, get the f*** out the way. <laughs> they all part in the water so get away from the shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, now you're thinking, that, well, if he got this full black body makeup on how come he ain't leaving uh skid marks all over the place how right come, right how come he ain't leaving stains and shit all over the place I uh just y'all, why. yeah you remember why yeah but yeah <laughs> this is some bullshit man hey yo y'all if you know if you never saw this movie y'all check this out God how did damn. mark get so black and not leaving fudge marks all over the place <laughs> well it's better you hear from mark himself it's a new product that suntan lotion company is developing they're tanning pills they chemically tan your skin so we're doing science fiction now. No, no, no. Man, f*** you, yeah. dude. Even his homeboy's like, man, that's bullshit. What the f- Seriously, what'd you do? What kind of Stephen King shit we talking about right here? <laughs> Let me see if I can bring this up. They, they had a party, and his friend is oh, telling him, he, he got, he, my man what got. his friend, Gordo? My man got, the, he got the hookup. <laughs> Let me see here. No, I wasn't. It was some, on tannin, on tannin pills. Man, this shit is ridiculous. It's some random Australian dude oh. <laughs> at their house. I don't remember that. Yeah, no, watch this. Watch this. Some random Australian <laughs> dude is like, I'm working at pharmaceuticals. Great. I'm doing biochem research for a suntan lotion company. Oh, foreshadowing. Oh, foreshadowing. position, too. I'm doing research. So he smuggled these pills out of there. Now, see that? 
That shit would have been funny. Now, now you got a movie. Like, what sure. if he start taking these tanning pills and it's a movie where he actually turned into a black man? Right. Hair start turning to an afro. Right, right. Like, lips like, got a little bigger. Like that movie, The Watermelon Man. The Watermelon reverse. Man. Yeah. yeah. What Remember if he? That? Now there's your movie right there. He start taking these pills, thinking that this is gonna have a temporary tan, and his ass actually turned into goddamn Chiwetel Ejiofor for some shit. A Idris Elba. There should be a scene where he's like, where he takes all those tanning pills, and then one day he just like. Help me! Ah. Help me! <laughs> I can't stop the funk! Please! <laughs> now that my man is is whatever. He's on the he's on the black hand side. Yep. Now that we got that, and he got Jesus his got his Christ. got his got his science fiction uh, illegal pills smuggled to him. He's just too happy to be there. And why he does look ash? You ain't like him. Right. This motherfucker looks like a zombie. Right, that's what I'm saying. He don't look, like, he don't look black. I wasn't trying to be funny. <laughs> no, he it's in that like scene. Looks terrible. Looks, that's, that is horrifying. Look, looks like, he looks, it looks like he's about to eat his brain. Now that my man is black, here's what's funny. Here's how, look, even if we just, even if we weren't offended by the blackface, this shit is just written lazily mm. so his first day as a black guy he gets the full black experience i don't know if you remember this like he gets his first case then this is the first day y'all and all this happens he gets his oh. first case of housing discrimination something wrong mr mcgrady yeah there may be a problem here you know when your mother rented this place for you she never told me that your roommate was a uh <clears throat> what uh, uh, black now this is also people this is back in the day where if you were a landlord, you were requ you were required to wear a hat and smoke a cigar. Yep. Like right like this. Like that, yeah. Like my man from Frankie, <laughs> Frankie Faison yeah. coming to America. Yeah. Yeah, if you were a landlord, you had to have a hat and a cigar. First day as a black dude, just happens to run into two guys, just out in the open, proudly just giving their their, their best racist yep. black jokes out there. Right to the <laughs> You got a thousand black guys and one white guy. What do you call the white guy? I give up. Lord. Well, they loud too. Yeah, I love those other guys. I ain't waiting for the punch. I give up. Black guys. Like, yeah, but he's not even waiting for the punchline. Yeah. Out, out in the open, like they, like they work in the room. Yep. Like this is racist open mic night. Sure. Loud as. F yep. But hey, just happens to. Just happens to be uh, the black the, the black dude is standing behind him. And here's what's funny, man. Uh, Mark, he looks genuinely disappointed and offended. Look, no offense, really. Just a joke. Hey, no problem. I like them. <sighs> what are you going to do? Okay, which is bullshit because you mean to tell me out of all your rich, yuppie white friends, none of them just out in the open just told a racist joke. The day that you're a black dude, that's when you start hearing right, racist jokes? That shit. No, <laughs> At it. And th the thing is, your dad is racist. I thought he was. I thought he was just a woman abuser, but he's also a racist. You find out later on in the movie that his dad on daddy ready to kill a black man. Get back, Dorothy. I'll handle this. What's happening, brother? Get down! Get down! Well, he ain't helping. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, come on, man. Hey, yeah. I shot his ass too. <laughs> yeah. <it's> like, <laughs> my father would have shot him. My dad would have yeah. been like, "Damn!" Why would that be what you would do? Why would you? Why would you not go to please, sir? It's okay. Why would sir, you? Like, oh, hey, I'm sorry. Baby. Yeah. Get down! Yeah. Get down! What the? What? You looking at hockey? Right. It's like, what? <laughs> please, can I be shot immediately? Yeah. Why would you? Why would <laughs> you do he that? Help it. You're stupid. So you know. You know Mark has heard these jokes before. Mark probably told some of these jokes. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, but it, it's 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 different now. You see, I'm I'm black. Mm. <laughs> so get the fuck out of here. Fuck off. I'm a different person now, and I'm sensitive about these things. By the way, those two guys, I don't know if you remember them, but they all all they what did they study? How are they even getting by hard? Because right. all all they do every time you see them, they're just walking around working on their gay racist jokes. Why did the Negro wear a tux on his way to his vasectomy? Because if I'm gonna be impotent, I might as well look impotent. <laughs> He's like, damn, that's pretty good. <laughs> Gotta remember that's that. An old one. joke, though. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard, I've heard black people tell that joke. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> By the, Me too, actually. I've heard, man, I've been angled, okay, full disclosure, I've yeah, heard. That's the first time I heard that joke. <laughs> full black okay, person. I hate to put that out there, but the first time I heard, yeah, I heard. I ain't, I ain't even heard white people tell that joke, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the first time I heard a white person say that joke. How many black electricians does it take to screw up? Jesus Christ. It's, it's, like, it's like he can't escape him. It's like, what are you doing? It's like, what the f***? Like, what did he do? Following me? Yeah. <laughs> Why the black guy? He's like, man, why don't y'all study, goddammit?
Everywhere he goes, the first thing you hear is, why did the black lie. guy, what happens when two black guys. You're going to be in a shitter. <laughs> God. God damn. So what do you get when you get three black dudes? <laughs> What did the Negroes say to the neck? All that bullshit. But they behind books. You hear that shit? You can't even see them yet. You can't even see them. You know what's them, though. You know, yeah. You, God damn. You damn sure know what's them. They supposed to be studying for law. They back to telling goddamn racist. I've been doing this the whole movie. <laughs> hey, guy. Sorry. Really. No offense. They just used to it now. They like, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey. You know, you know, you know what the deal is. Yeah, you know what it is, man. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't gonna stop. Hey, we got a joke for you. <laughs> yeah. Matter of fact, is you that one? That like a younger racist stat, uh, Statler and Waldo, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, they just, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. Negro. Yeah, they grew up to be these two. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing, now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, I mean, this is kind of offensive to white people, too. Because meanwhile, it, first of all, everyone's assuming that he's black when they run across him. No one thinks Puerto Rican, Afro-Cuban, right, right. Muslim, you know, Pakistani, or anything like that. That's close enough. Their minds, are, I know, that's close enough. <laughs> Everybody, you know, Colombian or anything. No, nobody, they go, they go straight to black. <laughs> and, of course, every every white person in here is the most basic kind of racist. Oh, yeah. I mean, look, if, if you're going to be racist, that's some, you know, Put some creativity to it or something. Some subtlety. Some subtlety. No, I, this is the first time I felt like I'm offended for the racists out there. Sure. This is like, man, this is some basic racism. Because when they see black, they go straight to the most basic ra- uh, stereotypes out there. I could really feel 400 years of oppression and anger in every pelvic thrust. No, Jesus, I'm, I've kind of been there. Yeah, <laughs> so, me too. Yeah. Me kind of. It was, girl told me <laughs> one night she gave up that ass because she was just kind of like, "My people, I am sorry what they've done to you." Yeah, I don't you. know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you killing the move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, do your thing. I ain't gonna stop you. Oh shit! Even mom got mandingo fever. White women, and now, at last, I'm going to have one. Shit, that's just you, Billy. <laughs> so maybe they got that right there. <laughs> they didn't have no little fantasies. Yeah. White women. Oh, no, yeah. White women. <laughs> <laughs> that's me at dinner with my. Yeah. <laughs> you after the show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> after my show, and after I got show going out of the audience and shit. <laughs> with, with a knife in my mouth. With a knife in your mouth. Ladies and gentlemen, Billy Brooks. White women. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> running. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the way he says it too. White women. Before I forget to say this, C. Thomas Howe is actually good in the movie. He's good. His acting is good. He sounds right for the different. Because remember, he does all yeah. these because they have these fantasies at dinner. And you run. I'm not going to get too far into it. But he goes to dinner with that girl's yeah, he, family, right? He, yeah. He does all the voices right. He Man, C. Thomas Howe. As offensive as they are, he does them perfectly. God damn it. I'm watching C. Thomas Howe and I'm like, I'm actually enjoying watching him. Yeah. In the movie, like, he's really good. He is. And I was actually, it was it was cool watching him. I mean, that's the only reason why I get mad. I was like, God damn it. I mean, these are, these are offensive Hurtful stereotypes, and I'd be damned if you ain't if you ain't doing them well. Right, right, no. Go get my heroin and my hypodermic needle, bitch. What you looking at? <laughs> I mean, he just, I mean, it just is perfect. <laughs> White fast. Look. Yeah, yeah. Well, what water are you at? It, it, it ain't it look. It ain't fight, but it's like, damn, he's really good. It's just like. You're just good in a movie that's just terribly offensive. Right. You got to clarify that scene, though, too. Cause <laughs> oh, yeah, because, again, yeah, every, <laughs> everybody that looks at him sees a stereotype. Like, Leslie Nielsen is the father. Right, of the, of the Old naked girl, gun over. He's the father of the white girl that that, 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 that is into him and he's having sex with. And he and he don't see nothing but a... He don't see nothing but a watermelon pimp over there. Yeah, a watermelon eating pimp. <laughs> yeah, it ain't they just threw it in the movie. Okay, to be fair, it's not like they that that they are right. trying to actually make something out of this. They're like it's it's a it's it's making a message about how people see it's the stereotypes. Yeah. yeah, it ain't doing it well though. Yeah, if it was a black actor doing that, then maybe. Yeah, but it's a white actor in blackface. <laughs> Like they're trying to show us that's how they see us. Yes. Like with with the with the, with the mom, it was the Mandingo fantasy. Yeah. And the, like with the son, he sees he's like looking at this is back in the '80s, so he sees dudes with Jerry curls and guitars. He's looking at Ready for the World and Prince. <laughs> now, funny thing is, 
Like when you put that wig on him, like that, and that mustache, he don't even look close to being. But he look, he looks like he's Italian. Yeah, he does. Sicilian or something. Yeah, he does. He don't look black. But that was, you know, that's lazy, man. Because they really are making the like <laughs> the white lazy. people. They they even writing the white racist people lazy. Yeah, like right. Tropic Thunder. This ain't no. And I mean, they were thorough with those stereotypes, man. They went, they went and forced that shit into the movie where it didn't even need it. Yo, it was out of nowhere. Something, that's what I remember. That they that was kind of fitting into something. She, she she took him home for dinner. Right, everybody seen dinner, that. Yeah. But there's some shit in there. It's just like y'all just doing this because y'all just want to put a stereotype in. Now they want to put like like they want to put the black blue singer Stevie Wonder, Ray Charles looking around mother in here. So they just forced that joke in here. Kareem. Kareem Abdul-Ali. Nice to meet you, Kareem. And that's Julia Louis, Louise Dreyfus yeah, in Julie there. Louise Dreyfus in there. A lot of, lot of faces in But that was no, there was no need for Ebony and Ivory up in here. You no. Know, there wasn't no need I for I can't that. remember why he was doing that, but. Because he got caught and put on the shades so he wouldn't be noticed or recognized. So since he had on the shades, he decided like, oh, oh well, I'm them. black and wearing shades, so I might as well be doing Ray Charles and Stevie oh, Wonder now. Oh, because he knew them from back in the yeah, day. Yeah, because he, oh. he saw them at the party oh, okay, that he was throwing. Okay. Yeah, it's like, all right, now y'all going, it's too much. It was already too much. Yeah. You're breaking backs with the last black straw. That was worse than him going, what it is? It was a dad or whatever, yeah. he's doing this now. He's so lazy that somehow, I mean, like that's like people, they are really forcing the racism in here to make some kind of point about, look at us. We, we are aware of racism and we're trying to make a statement. Like he goes to jail. Of course, he gets pulled over by the cops, being trailed by the cops. They put his ass in jail. And when you know it, when you know it, about what? Fourth day on the job being black, when he gets thrown in jail, he gets thrown in jail with a bunch of bunch of uh, bunch of racist, violent Irish dudes. Oh. We lost. Gee, that's too bad. To a bunch of niggas. That's when he wish he could wipe that yeah. shit off. The <laughs> yeah. Come, come on. Can't stand me. <laughs> no, God, I'm, I'm with you, guys. Look, no, really. I at least take that wig off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah, that's the first thing he should have done. Yeah. See, guys, I'm like, yo, see, he's coming off. <laughs> Show your dick. I mean, something. <laughs> oh, no, that dick is brown, too. Remember? Some sci fi oh, pills. Yeah. <laughs> see, his ass is completely black. That's <laughs> <laughs> what your ass get. That's what you yeah, get. That's exactly. the ass whooping you deserve. Exactly. Man, he needed these ass whoopings because he was really making black dudes look bad. Like when he meets Radon Chong, man, out in the open, just sexually harassing her. What an ass. What an asshole. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I know, but there ain't nobody got no, no subtlety in this, man. People's out in the open telling racist jokes, Look at looking at people's asses. Glad he didn't say something else. Man, that bitch got a fine. Yeah, right, right. What? Right. What? Excuse me? <laughs> I tell you, what is so insulting with this is how the movie really thinks it's saying something profound. You know what I mean? It's really, like, it's not realizing how ignorant it is because they really oh. think they're helping. Like they do, you know. What I mean, they're being funny, but they—I read about this and everything. They—they they really thought that they were—they were bringing racism to the forefront for white people to recognize. That's why oh. we have to have a white protagonist here, so that the white people would come and see this. Well, don't do us any favors. <laughs> In fact, you know what? Yeah, <clears throat> you know what? If you, want, if you want to help, go away. <laughs> right. Yeah. Join in the or something. <laughs> yeah. Don't 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 do this. No, they've actually done what Hollywood has always done. Oh, yeah. You know. Push black people to the side, push them to the background, and when you do that, it's taking our voices away. Right. And give, and then you're taking our voices away, and you're giving it to these white characters, thinking that, well, first of all, we know it's a business. Like I said, you know sure. that that's gonna make money more than you perceive us doing if we say it. Right. It's just scary if we say it. Sure. Nobody want to come to the movie to see it's too you real. complain. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you say it's too real. Yeah, yeah. it's too real. You know, so I ain't trying to watch Critical Race Theory of the movie. No, <laughs> exactly. Don't make me feel bad. Right. You know, and they give it to these people to speak, you know, to, they're giving the voice to them to speak for us. And it's just, it's kind of insulting. It's patronizing. Yes. That's what it is. It's extremely patronizing. And now people are saying, but wait a minute, but uh, I'd explain James Earl Jones. The precedent, sir, is, is Ronald Reagan, sir. Boy, I thought he was about to force choke that motherfucker. Uh, yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> what exactly did he say? I, I, he, the president. He said, "What is the president's for something?" Oh, he the said, president's the president is oh, so he Ronald sure. Reagan. He's like, bitch. So, so, so do, really do get look, he get <laughs> He went through all this to go to blackface, to get into Harvard Law, to go to make goddamn wisecracks, to go to class, class. <laughs> flirt with the next black chick, and make jokes, <laughs> make not get no answers. 
make, he deserved, like, I ain't with these Irish white uh, white racist people, but he deserved that ass whooping yeah, right he there. Does. He deserved that. And James L. Jones is like, I a force choke. I'm about to run up there and choke you with my goddamn <laughs> bare hands. Mr. Watson, I am not a humorless man. Please see to it that they are funny. Now, y'all saying, well, James L. Jones is in this. I mean, and he's an authority figure. He's a professor. He's mm. smart. First of all, for some reason, older black males in movies are not threatening. Right. And so that's okay right there. He's one of the few. And also, they just threw him in there because they're trying to, they're trying to legitimize the movie. Yeah, put some gravitas in there and <clears throat> legitimize it. I mean, it's the same reason as like we always got to be the nerdy best friend. Yes. Or the gay best friend. Yeah, yeah, that's or right. Put us in a dress as soon as they can. You yep. know, to emasculate us. And I'm not saying that gay people are emasculated by, by nature. I'm just saying that's how they perceive it. That's how they perceive it. That's why when you have interracial couples in movies, it's always safer for the white dude to be with a black right. woman. But the, the black dude and the white person, let it, hey, if they're in a gay relationship, right. that's a little more digestible right there. Whenever you see the, the, the best friend of the white guy and he's a really good looking black dude, nine times out of ten, he's gay. In the he's movie. gay. Exactly. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah he's gay. You, can't be, you, know, you better keep your hands off yeah. that white girl. <laughs> An older black man, well, you know, like I said, that grandfatherly and it's not, sure. you know, yeah, they, they ain't threatening anything right. like that. So that's, the, they're trying to legitimize this, man. James L. Jones is a, you know, recognizable face and everything. Uh, you know, also, Oscar by the way, this is one of those movies where these characters just go to one class. Right. You know what I'm saying? When, these, when you yeah. have these movies where these these kids go to college, you never see them taking any other course. No. I was taking that one class. It's Harvard Law. There's only one teacher. <laughs> I guess. You know, who's asking about precedence on the first day. Everybody knows what that is. <laughs> That's, you know, I'll be way beyond that by the time you get to law school. Damn, you as much as you see James L. Jones, you swear he's... Teaching geometry and right. math and biology and law and <laughs> art and everything else. Right. He's the only teacher you see on campus. Like, like Saved by the Bell. Yeah, exactly. I exactly. got one classroom all together. Ray, Ray Don Chong, she's just here because you're saying, well, she's black. First of all, she's biracial, but I know when it's still black. All right, I got it. I got it. But she's just here to make him, ho he, she's a tool. She's here to make him more heroic. And also, just she's just there to be his love interest. Boy, back in the 80s, you couldn't kiss nobody without that sax man nope, back there. that's right. Sax man got sax, you. Sax man was way behind the corner, <laughs> waiting for you to make out. <laughs> also, uh, Radon Chong was the only black actress in the 80s, by the way. Well, like I said, in the 80s, you know what? They never would have done this the other way around. No. So, again, f*** your good intentions, because they ain't there. They're not sincere. No, they're not. Oh. They're, they're like, well, we, we, you know, we can be diverse. Oh, oh, oh it's like yeah. too goddamn I'm crazy now. Slow your ass down, yeah. Slow your ass down. Sit your black ass down. Oh. Yeah, other than that, if you if you are. And oh, that's another thing. Uh, there's like some colorism thing going on here because a lot of this is mostly light skin. Black people. Well, you mean the other only two black people <laughs> the, in the movie? Exactly. <laughs> well, they got they got some others because if if you ain't otherwise if you are black and not one of these two people in the movie, take take your ass to the back and shut the fuck up. And you know because it's funny the only the uh, the rest of the black people in here they get no lines. There's others in here, but they get oh, no well, lines. Okay. And it's and it's weird because there's a scene where they make a big deal about basketball and the black guy. Oh, I knew it. And the whole time, and it's a whole bunch of white people talking, and the black dude don't get to say shit at all. Just get shut up and dribble. Get your ass out there and just play basketball. You just there to make what you. He's just there to make C. Thomas Howell look bad. Right, because they think he can play basketball because he's black. Yeah, but at the end of the but they, he don't have no lines. No, where everybody's talking about where should the which, which team should the black guys be on? The only black guy that gets to speak is the fake one. Not <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, yeah not, really, not, really black. not this not this brother right here. He don't get nothing. Don't get nothing at all. By the way, that's Ronald Reagan's uh, son back there. Which one? Oh, there he is right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's him. Oh, and another thing. Uh, Nancy Reagan gave this movie a ringing endorsement. Of course she did. Of course she did. You know, Nancy Reagan was the voice of black people back then. Yeah. So, yeah, she's awesome. Well, I mean, come on, man. They, they, they were exactly the kind of people that would think that this, that this was progressive and exactly. all Exactly. Like, this is what people that are... That you would not want to even have coffee with to go mm. see see how amazing this is see 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 what what this is the kind of thing we needed to be doing. Yep. What? 
If you just say no to drugs, you too can go to Harvard. Right. If this black man, if this young black gentleman can go, they think he's real. <laughs> I mean, look at my son all close to him. <laughs> yeah, so if you are another black person in the movie, you don't get no lines, but you might get to play basketball. Or, and that's lucky if you get to play basketball. Otherwise, you that on the street just walking by smoking. Ain't got a friend. I don't listen. Cut. That's his life. <laughs> that's, his, that's his role. <laughs> Negro smoking. Just smoking and looking confused and mad. That right, is his yeah. line right there. <laughs> Going out, he's looking at him like, what, what the f*** was that that walked past me? <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, like, what, 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 the f- what was, was that? that creature that yeah, yeah, just walked by? Like, what the f*** was that? That shouldn't be here. <laughs> Somebody ain't right. <laughs> I stopped smoking this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Funny thing is, man. Like I said, C. Thomas Howell is the darkest black person in the movie. Yeah, well, oh, oh, except for this dude uh, in this scene right here. Bradley. I oh. think he's actually being escorted out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, now I know where he got it from. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he, oh, he don't know it's a setup. You happy to be following that black woman? Yeah. Bradley. <laughs> yeah. Why, 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 you happy to that white girl? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Gonna get some. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's a trap. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Brother don't realize they're about to take him outside and yep. beat the shit out of him. <laughs> yeah, he's about to get some ass. Don't ever be the only black person at the party, man. You find nobody got your ass. <laughs> he's about to get some ass. <laughs> Say it out loud. Yeah. You don't know. He's being led to security right now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the most, I tell you, the most, this, this is the most infuriating thing about the movie. When they finally get to the end of it, out of all this nonsense here. Now, this man, he went and he faked being another race, a black person, so that he could actually get a scholarship. He took that grant and that scholarship from somebody else that's revealed later on. Radon, Radon Chong is revealed. Oh. Like, I tried out for it, but, but you took it from me. But, you but it's okay. Person. You are black, too. I'm happy for you. But oh, he stole God. that. Oh, lazy. This fool stole money, all right? He stole money. He confesses this to James Earl Jones. And what is James Earl Jones? Now, this man committed a crime. What did James Earl Jones tell him? We won't press charges. You can stay. Thank you, sir. Oh, you're a good one. You know, this, this man what? What? This man committed a crime. Now, it's funny because, and this is not, it's not too much of an exaggeration. If they catch your ass even thinking about pulling some sort of scholarship or grant fraud. Sure. You can go to jail for five years. Can you go to jail for financial aid fraud? You faced five years imprisonment for planning to commit fraud against sure. the government. Like before he even went into class, they did shit that no one would tolerate. Like his friend went to James L. Jones' class, took his class over, acted like this was a... And James L. Jones told him, this is not a court of law right now. This is a classroom. And his friend Goto was like, I don't care. I come in here to speak for my friend. I came in here to represent my friend. They come forward in person. Jackson! To what? Well... Frankly, to your tone of voice. Come here disrespecting this man. It's a student. They laughing, making a mockery of this man's classroom right now. Okay, you're out. Yeah, he's at no, but he's letting this shit, he's tolerating it. Because he can't do shit because he's like, you know, these white kids, they they got rich parents, they're gonna get my ass fired if I say something. Yep. Quiet. After all, who made him what he is? Weak. Greedy. Unable to support himself by honest labor. They're saying, if you listen to it and listen yeah. to it carefully, they're saying that they're talking that uh, uh, influenza. What is that influenza shit? Where it's like yeah. he he had no choice but to do what he did because he was accustomed to a certain lifestyle. Affluenza. Affl- affluenza. Yeah. Afflu- yeah, influ- <clears throat> affluenza. That, that affluenza shit. Saying he was accustomed to a certain lifestyle. He lived a certain way. He knew no other way in life. And when his father took his money away. He had no choice but to do what he did and did only what he knew to do. Yeah, they pretend to be black because that's what you Negroes get is free shit. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly what they're saying. And I would have been like, objection. Couldn't he get a f- job? Yes. Oh, but he was in no position to get a job because he never had one. Right. He's in no position to get a job because he wasn't in your position yeah. <laughs> until now and then he got the free shit. Don't you see how it works and rolls? And, and James L. Jones wants to beat the shit oh out of him God, so bad. <laughs> Like, there's a point where James L. Jones, it finally dawns on him, like, my God, I've made a mistake. What the f*** 
am I doing? <laughs> oh man, that face! <laughs> yeah, it dawned on him. He like, what the f- I am can't I doing? I let this go on. <laughs> like, yeah. Wow! Wow! Wait a minute, this wasn't the movie I signed up for. <laughs> oh Jesus! Dude, we. Bring- <laughs> Oh Jesus! What? What have I'm so sorry. What have I done? Oh, I'm gonna start Jesus. choking himself. Yeah, he said, <laughs> "You have failed me for the last yeah. time, Mr. Jones." That's him and his agent. Yeah. <laughs> it's th- this man committed a crime and got a slap on the wrist for that, and is let go. Uh, oh, let me play. Let me play the part where he said he tells him he's like, "Hey, you know what? Well, you've learned a few things. You can go." I would like to get a law degree, sir. So I can do some work that might be of use to somebody. More Name white savings. Yeah. 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 But he gonna, man, this motherfucker gonna make money and forget about yep. everything that happened in this room. Exactly. Hey, I didn't sign shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm not doing none of that. <laughs> a Harvard Law graduate can do a great many things. You know, so he's like, you learned something. You're, so, you know, you're good. Now go out in the world and do those great things right. you talked about. Those great about. things you'll never do. That you will now nah, exactly, right. exactly. Not only that, but after he gets, after he gets exonerated, after he's proven to be okay to go back to law school, this fool goes back to the cafeteria and commits assault. Oh yeah. Hey buddy, how you doing? <laughs> God damn! I Jesus. remember when I was a kid, that table just fell apart. <laughs> I, l- I love this that that first punch because somebody off camera threw that mother yeah, to the table for real. <laughs> Damn! You're like not so hard. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that dude went back and committed a he committed another crime. He went back and committed assault with intent. With yes. <laughs> because, because that wasn't no that wasn't no man. It wasn't even all that power behind that punch. That mother- Fly. If you look at the first punch, he didn't even make contact. Look at this. Hey, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> the dude turned his head before he even got in. Did you see it? <laughs> I know somebody off screen picked his ass up and threw him that table over there. Hey, buddy. How you doing? He took it in, dude. Look how the woman goes, oh, Jesus. <laughs> that second one is ridiculous. <laughs> that is, man. That second one, we tore that table up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that table, I felt. That's the one I felt the worst about oh, the movie. Oh man, that brings me back. That poor boy. table, man. God damn! See the table trying to run. Yeah. <laughs> it's just had me laugh when he was wiggling down there. He hit him so. Yeah, yeah, when, yeah, he, yeah, when he, he was trying to get when out. he goes down, his legs. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> he Look can't get on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the soul's up in the air. <laughs> the legs are trying to run. Yeah. Why is it? <laughs> Not finding no ground. <laughs> look at y'all look at his legs. His legs are scrambling, man. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> and the way she falls makes me laugh too. The oh boy. yeah, she trying to get the hell out the way. Yeah. It's just funny how she falls down there. Like, it's just think about like, yeah, he's back to normal. He's done everything right. <laughs> and fuck y'all's lunch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. If they just sitting there eating lunch. Then they with nobody. And now they got a, a grown ass dude flying into him. Hey, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> Man, he knocked, it, knocked yeah, that other he, dude he out. that dude out. This hey. dude committed government fraud. Yep. Assault in the cafeteria. But, hey, it's all right. At the end of the day, he still gets to run off with the fine black chick, her and her little scamp of a this son right here. Oh, that's right. I don't have to eat. It's but because, because he had a couple of bad black days, He's learned a lesson, so off into all the is good. Off into, off, off into the sunset. As they walk with a kid trying to keep up to him, like, like, that's your kid. Wait, wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> the plan. <laughs> the plan, boss. Yeah, people, that man went off with no, no consequences. None whatsoever. No comeuppance, no consequences. All he had to do was stop taking them tanner pills. <laughs> I'm going to be all right, yeah, goddammit. He, he tore up. He, he tore up Harvard. <laughs> <laughs> Beat up the cafeteria, man. Now don't get any more trouble now, all right? All right, fine. Based in the chance that he went off in all the white snow. <laughs> yeah, he did. A white man once again. That's it. Come on, woman. All is right with the world. I bring, <laughs> your, black, I bring your black ass on. Ain't that little nigglet. You? There you go. So, man. Nothing trying to, not saying, look, I think they made white people look bad in this movie. 
just being, you know, made them all stereotypical, but they definitely, definitely were heavy misguided with everything else. This is, yeah, people, this, this is, so. I, let me tell you something. If I, if I did see this movie, and I thought I did back in the day, because it was on TV, so either it I It came would, on TV all, all the time. The time. All and I the think time. I, I thought I had watched this in pieces, but it was so long ago, maybe I didn't watch all of it, maybe I did, I don't know. But, God damn, this was much worse than I thought it would be. Yeah. Yeah, people, there you go. If you ask me, this is not some bullshit, it's a big f- you, you know Yeah, come on, y'all. Hey everyone, support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. 